Hello yoga community, welcome back to my channel, the best place to practice yoga for your body, mind, and soul. Today's class is a full body morning yoga class to feel powerful. And the intention that I'm setting for all of us is I am powerful. So take a moment to write in the comments, all caps, I am powerful. So I know you're committing to this intention with me. Now let's talk about yoga props. I'm suggesting one block. We'll be in a kneeling posture at the very beginning and end. If you know you like to be propped up, find something to perch upon. Otherwise, bring your power to this morning yoga class. We're gonna start in that kneeling position. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I'll meet you in that kneeling posture. All right, yoga fam. Like I said, we're starting in a kneeling posture. This is why I recommend a block and I like to place it underneath my bum, either on the lowest setting or the second setting. And you wanna position it so that your perineum is pointing straight down towards the yoga mat or earth plane. If this is uncomfortable, you could also take a cross-legged posture too, right? So arrive into your seated pose, sit up nice and tall. Begin to connect your hearing with your breathing, hearing that oceanic sound as you inhale and exhale through your nose, feeling your chest rise and fall, your belly expand and contract, and your energy awakening to the day that lies ahead. All of this is happening as you connect your hearing to your breathing and become present for this experience. Moving into some gentle cat cows to warm up the spine. Bring the hands behind the back of the head. You can interlace the fingers here. Elbows go nice and wide. Feels so nice to stretch the chest early in the morning. Now inhale, really send the energy down through the base of your being as you lift and broaden through the sternum all the way up into the chest, into the collarbone. Let your head gently fall back into the cradle of your hands. Exhale, round the spine, elbows come towards one another, chin drops down towards chest. Inhale, open, rise, lift, expand and extend. Exhale, close and contract. Last exhale. Rise back up into a neutral posture. Bring your hands behind your back. Two options here. You can interlace your hands behind your back and make a fist shape and send that fist shape down towards the ground. Or you can clasp both elbows, bring both arms behind the back and reach for the opposite elbow. So maybe experiment with both and then see what feels best. The idea here is that we're broadening and opening our chest. We're welcoming in stimulation, fresh air, and continuing to breathe here, continuing to keep that breath alive and present throughout the practice. Silently affirming to yourself, I am powerful. I am powerful. Last breath here.
Great work. Release whatever hand clasp you have. If you've got that prop, lift up, set it off to the side. Meet me in a tabletop pose. We're coming into a fast-paced cat-cow where we inhale and exhale forcefully out of the nose and really wake up the body with energy here. Follow my breath, follow my cue, and then move at your own pace based on you. Keep breathing, keep going, keep pumping. A few more seconds here. Almost there. Pause in neutral. Come back to your center. Reconnect. Ground. You might feel a little bit like, whoa. Lots of energy. I love the power of breath work and movement like that. Awesome. Curl the toes under. Find downward facing dog. First one of the day. Pedal the feet. Bicycle the legs. Spend whatever time you need here in whatever way to wake up to your body, wake up to your stability, your security, your strength, and your personal power. Awesome work. Inhale to gaze forward, start to Tiptoe, walk your feet towards the top of the mat. Once you arrive, inhale, lift up halfway. I love a micro bend in my knees, especially first thing in the morning. Hands slide up the shins, really lengthen from tail to crown. Exhale, fold all the way down, head and neck release. Let the head and neck hang really heavy, bend the knees generously, and inhale, use the strength of your core to roll the body up unwinding, stacking the vertebra. Once you get to the top, roll the shoulders back. Beautiful, standing in Tadasana pose, saying to yourself, I am powerful. Interlace the hands behind the back here. Send that fist package down. Again, broaden and lift through the chest and the collarbones. Breathe big. Keep the hands as they are, bend the knees, fold at the hip creases as you lower all the way down and take the fist package overhead. Feel that beautiful stretch happening for the chest, the shoulders, head and neck are relaxed, hanging heavy. Inhale. Exhale, release hands down, step back, plank pose, step back into your power. Firm the body immediately, three breaths here. Exhale, navel reaches back towards spine. Inhale, really extend from heel to crown. Exhale, belly firms up and in. Last breath. This time, exhale, lower all the way down. Knees can soften for that descent. Keep the hands by the low ribs and soften the forehead down for a moment. We're coming into Bhujangasana Cobra Pose and we're progressively going to build the inhale and build our capacity here. We'll inhale for a count of four to begin and then increase that to five, six, seven, and eight. And the exhale will be natural as we lower back down to the mat here. So wing the elbows towards one another and send the shoulder blades down and onto the back here. Firm the legs, firm the core, prepare for this journey. 
On an inhale, we're coming up for four. Let's begin. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale. Inhale for two, three, four, five. Exhale. Inhale for two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. Inhale for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Last one, we'll hold at the top. Inhale for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming into your deepest cobra. Take another breath here. Exhale, lower down. Send yourself back into child's pose, balasana for a moment. I am powerful. Coming forward into forearm plank. Exactly what you want to be doing in the morning. And again, we're going to come into a breathing pattern, inhaling for eight and exhaling for four. So exhale completely. Inhale for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale four, three, two, one. Last one. Inhale for two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Final inhale. Exhale, soften the knees down. Come all the way down. Forehead rests. Send the fingertips back. So palms all the way back, facing up towards the sky. On the next inhale, lift the whole body off the ground whole body, legs, arms, chest, gaze down towards the mat, don't crank the neck, three more breaths here, one more for good measure, lift up, exhale, stack the hands and rest the forehead on your hands here. I always like to shimmy my hips from side to side after back bends. Coming into a belly stretch, extend the left arm straight out from the shoulder, so shoulder socket, tend up onto the right fingertips and begin to roll onto the left hip, left hip, right? Yes, left hip, right knee bends, the right sole of the foot plants, and the right ear is resting on the mat. Sorry, left ear. We're on the left hip, left ear, left arm straight out from the shoulder socket, right leg is bent. This right hand can drape behind you. I like to keep it by my face, tent it up as support. And take some soothing, calming breaths here. Notice any tension you might be resisting, especially on the left side of your chest and shoulder. Noticing if maybe you rolled too far into the pose and you need to roll a little bit out here. Final round of breath. Use this right hand to help you roll back onto your stomach. Whew. Take a moment. Coming onto the other side, extending the right fingertips and arms straight out from the shoulder socket. 
Left hand now tense up. Roll onto that right hip. Left knee bends, foot plants, right ear down to the mat here. And just noticing which side is really tense versus the other. You might be equal. You might notice, wow, one side's much more open. One side feels much more restricted. And just noticing. You don't need to fix it right now. Last inhale. Let this left hand and arm guide you back onto your belly. Take a moment, pause, and now flip all the way over onto your back for happy baby pose. Soles of the feet comes up towards the sky. Grab wherever you can, the shins, peace fingers around the big toes, maybe outsides of the pinky edge side of the foot. You choose what you need. I also love the variation where my entire spine is flattening towards the mat. So I can feel the back of my skull all the way down to my tailbone. Rocking side to side, preparing for the day ahead, tapping into our personal power here. Stepping on the mat was the first way to claim that power to really claim your day. Last breath. Exhale, knees into the chest. Just rocking from side to side and let the legs fall over to the left, stacking both knees here. And the right arm can come out long from the shoulder socket. Breathing into the side body here. And come back through to center. Take your time. Both knees. Shift over to the right, keeping them stacked atop one another. Left arm comes out, breathing into the left side of your body now. Coming back through to center and rocking all the way up to a seat or coming onto your side to meet me in a seated pose. We'll end with a little bit of pranayama, kapalabhati breath, and a moment to set an intention for our day together. So you can sit cross-legged or in a kneeling posture like I am. Finding what works best for you is part of your yoga practice, right? So Kapalabhati is a forceful exhale. It's a strong exhale out of the nose at a quickening pace. So quite a fast pace, but you can find your own rhythm. And it's a snapping of the abdomen or diaphragm back. So it's tonifying, it's cleansing, it's purifying, it's strengthening. It is a beautiful way to start your day. If you're new to it, follow along. It'll be challenging and you'll grow into the breath work experience right so my teacher always cues to bring your hands up to a v the v represents the equilateral triangle the symbol of strength structure and stability and you can really think of this as a trinity and when our arms like are up like this we're embodying that trinity all right so ground down into the base of your being really reach up through your arms firm them strongly Exhale completely. Inhale to three quarters of your capacity. And begin.
keep pumping and pumping and pumping and know that when your arms are up like this, you are in your personal power. You are embodying this trinity of strength, structure, and stability. You are claiming to yourself that I am starting my day with power, purpose, presence, presence and confidence. Keep pumping and pumping and pumping, strengthening and straightening your arms, lifting your chin and broadening through your chest. Just about 20 or 30 more seconds. Draw a big inhale breath in, hook your thumbs overhead, hold your breath, sip in a little bit more air, like you're sipping air in through a straw. Hold your breath, hold your breath. And exhale your hands out in a sphere-like shape. Ah, embodying all that power and purpose you just cultivated. Take a moment with eyes closed. One hand on the belly, one hand on the heart, and set an intention for your day with me. What is it you want to cultivate, create, manifest? What matters most to you today? Setting an intention around that. Final breath, seal that intention within. Exhale, sigh out of the mouth. Beautiful. When you feel ready, open your eyes. Welcome back to the physical space. It is my greatest intention that you do feel like, yes, I'm connected to my personal power, and yes, I feel more whole in my body, mind, and soul. For more resources like these classes to deepen and strengthen your yoga practice, check out these resources here and here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here to have more yoga like this from the comfort of your home. Okay, so now the challenge really begins, yogis, taking this yoga practice off our mat and into our day today. Thank you so much for joining me. Excellent work. I hope you have an incredible, awesome, powerful day.